for the neuropsychologists in the group. There was a meta-analysis done by the first author at Stanford University who did a systematic review and meta-analysis of various meditation and relaxation approaches on anxiety. This is a little bit old, but it's classic, and I'll show you an updated one in a minute. But let's look at this. Progressive relaxation, a variety of relaxation techniques, other meditation techniques. This is all the published literature at the time, 143 studies, and controlled for various aspects of experimental design. Uh, the effect size was about twice as great of transcending kind of meditation than other kinds of meditation and relaxation. So there's something of this EEG pattern and experience of restful alertness that translates into some distinctive effects on anxiety. This is 2013 and 2012. This was a meta-analysis done in Germany on all the published literature up until last year or so. Uh, the big difference is over the past 10 or 15 years, there have been a lot of published studies on a technique of meditation called mindfulness. And according to those authors, there's an average effect size of about 2.5 in, in improving mental health. This is a composite psychological variable of negative factors and positive factors in one composite of psychological health. Other meditations done um, over that time, other studies of other meditations, have a similar effect size, about 0.25. The effect size of restful alertness kind of meditation is about 0 0.35, 0 0.37, which is actually significantly greater. So the original finding from the Epley meta-analysis is consistent with the latest findings that open monitoring form of meditation, which is this, and uh, concentration, which is often in this category, has different effects on mental health than automatic self-transcending kind of meditation. Now, you might ask about author bias. This is an evaluation of potential researcher bias according to their affiliation. These authors looked at uh, the literature and identified studies that were done by investigators from universities where, univer where meditation is incorporated into the curriculum, or authors that have said they practice meditation. That's the red bar. The blue bar represents studies published by authors who are not affiliated with universities that incorporate meditation into their curricula or, and or have not said that they practice meditation. Look at this. Effect size for authors with affiliated universities in mental health are about 0.45. Effect size uh, for authors who are not affiliated and don't say they practice are about 0.8. What does that say? If you don't meditate, you get greater effects when you study meditation, is what that says. Addresses the issue of author bias, at least. 